Right then, so outlines. Um, it might be that you've got issues with your data where one number is either massively too small or massively too big, and it makes a difference to the values that you get. And these are your outlines that are outside the general pattern of the data. We've got two different ways of working it out. We've got bigger than the upper quartile plus one and a half times the interquartile range, and we've got the lower quartile minus, oops, I've lost my bit of paper, minus the one and a half times interquartile range. Now this is using the, the median and the interquartile range, or the quartiles of the interquartile range. If you were using x bar and sigma, then we say that outliers are outside of three standard deviations away from the mean. So that's if I was doing it, so it'd have to be outside of those. But as you'd work out what x bar minus three signals are, it'd be less than that, and x bar plus three signals would be more than that. Right, so in reality, if we have got something which is an outlier, we check it out first and make sure it's okay. So, if we know there's an error, we sort it out. If we can't fix it, we ditch it, which is you clean in the data. Uh, um, on a box plot, we'll do it with a, a cross. Yeah. Right, so what we're doing here in example two. Okay, so I've got the CO2 emissions for Volkswagen cars. So this is from a large data set. Um, each car is referred to by a unique reference number. Now this reference number, be careful then, because I'm not saying I've got four, for 472 I've got 314 of them, and for 3325 I've got 39. That's just a reference number. This is actually qualitative data. So I'm not interested in that, it's just a reference number. This is what's going to go in the list one, and then the list two, I'll have lots of ones. So you stick that into yours for me. Uh, hang on, I'm gonna pause. Right, so I put my numbers back in. So here you go, with ones in list two. If I do F1 for one there. Now I should have showed you this on the other one. If I go down a little bit, look, Q1, medium, Q3, ED, and the max. So it gives you all the stuff to draw a box plot if you wanted. Right, so uh, what have we got then? So Q1 is 127, Q3 is 192. So my interquartile range is 192 minus 1, uh, 127. And I'll just leave that over there. Oh, it's going to do it for Go over it. Uh, what's that going to be there? 65, I guess. Probably get that wrong sometime. Yeah, 65 sounds good. Um, so let's have a look at the bottom outline there. So I've got less than Q1 minus 1.5 lots of my interquartile range. So I've got less than 127 minus 1.5 times 65, which I think is less than 29.5. Then I've got more than Q3 plus 1.5 times my interquartile range. So I've got more than 192 plus 1.5 times 65, which gives me two or more than 289.5. So if you look, I thought at first 39 was going to be the one. But it isn't, is it? It's the 314. So if you look at the data, the 39 is all right, so it's not below the 314. So 314 is bigger than 289.5. So that's an outlier. So you go back to your data and double check it. 
and then you'd either find out it's 34 and you've accidentally put a one in it, or it's you know something completely random, or it's just a massive error in it if you ditch it. Right, so there's one there for you to have a go at. So have a go at that question. I'm going to stop for the next bit. It's all about comparing. So these are moderately short bits, aren't they? Right, okay. Bye-bye.